Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. We're up to video number two, looking at bold lips. So I'm just gonna go through how I apply, not necessarily darker lipsticks, but ones that are brighter in color, how I match that with foundation and makeup and just things I recommend. Just go through some different types of lipsticks and different colors and I hope you enjoy. So I've just finished my foundation. I've put down a stick foundation and sealed it with powder. So now I'm gonna go in and contour. I am just picking a colour that is about two shades darker than my natural skin tone. Time to fill in the brows. I'm using a light brown eyeshadow from my Yardi Neutrals palette. Here's the before and the after. Not to prime is a crime. I'm just priming my eyelids ready for my eyeshadow. just using a lighter slightly shimmery skin color on my brow I'll be then going in with a light brown very similar to the contour shade that I used on my face and then just a really light pink shimmer nothing too crazy. I'm now just adding in my blush and my highlight. I apologize for being so hot right now. These are my shadow shields, so I'm going to do a wing eyeliner today. This pretty much is a shadow shield cut in half, and I've just tried to line them up as best I can to try and get them symmetrical, even though my eyes aren't symmetrical, which is a pain. I sort of have to draw my wings slightly different for each side so they look the same, which sounds a bit weird. Alright, time to take our wings off, so I'll show you what happens when we peel it back. So it just gives that really, really crisp line. I mean, worst case, you get concealer and you make the line more crisp. Um, sometimes it can bleed through, uh, like there's a little tiny little bump at the bottom there. But other than that, these are such a good idea. Time to use some shimmer. We're just going to place this on the inner corners and blend it out. Lashes. These are the Smoky Velvet Double Lashes by Model Rock. We've just got to add our lips now. This is our base and we can build from here. So any lips you want to do, pink, black, red, purple, whatever, this is a really good neutral base to work off and you can pair it with anything and just completely change this look. So using neutrals and particularly having quite heavy black 
on the top of your eye is really going to make this diverse. So I'm going to show you how that works just with this same makeup and I'm going to go through stacks. I was going to say stacks but then I'm like what if I don't want to? <laughs> so um, yeah I'm going to go through some lip colours. I'll go through some of the matte, matte to liquid lipsticks I've got, normal lipsticks and we will see how we go. So let's get into it. So we'll start off from lightest to darkest because this is going to be really hard for me to wash off. Um, this is just an old Lime Crime lipstick I have, so um, yeah, we'll just use this one and go for it. So with most liquid lipsticks, I do line my lips, but I haven't found any lip liners that go well with this colour, so I just put it straight on. Um, it's got, it's pretty good pigment, so I'm not too worried. Tips for the best bold lip, I would say, would be a, a high coverage foundation, neutral eye makeup, so one that's not going to clash with the colour that you're wearing, or be too overpowering, um, and the correct blush. With the blush I've got on now, I could get away with it, but for me personally, I want to jazz it up. So now that I've got this colour on, I'm going to add some more blush. This is lip colour number one. Um, to make a bold lip look nicer as well. I would go around the outside, like you can see some of my outside is just not perfect. Getting concealer and running around the outside with a dark coloured lip is going to really make a difference. And with this lip colour, I could probably get away with not doing that. But when I get down to these darker shades, when I get to black, um, I'm not going to be able to get away with it. And also a bold lip looks really good if your teeth are slightly whitened. I did mine this morning before this video. Just really makes your lipstick look good and also picking the right coloured lipstick will also change what colour your teeth look. So trial and error, if you don't know what colour to pick, it yeah, I just put it on me and I'm like, cool, this looks terrible. Okay, next colour, we're going to do red. Um, I figure I'll show you a different process this time. So using the lip liner, um, I'm just using a really basic red lip liner. Doesn't matter what it is. Okay, we'll let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll show you my concealer trick. These liquid lipsticks stain like crazy, but they don't come off, so that's a good thing. Um, we're going to move on to purple. It should cover up this atrocious mesh. So beautiful colour, still matches with the eyes, the cheeks, everything, so you can just rock any colour you want. Don't be afraid of lipstick. I love lipstick. Lipstick is my friend. The next colour, we're getting quite dark now. This were this is Wicked by Lime Crime. Time for black, which my new financial year's resolution is to wear black lipstick more often. Okay? Mm. 
this is the finished look for the black lipstick. I'm not sure if you can tell from the previous frame, but I did contour a, a bit more just to match this lipstick. So just like I've said throughout this whole video, just keep adjusting your makeup to suit what lips you're going to do. This probably took the longest out of all the colours, so my theory of the darker the lipstick, the harder to apply seems valid. Thank you so much for watching guys, I had a lot of fun making this video. If you have any ideas for the next video, please comment below and I'll see you next time. Peace out!